Okay guys, last section in the chapter and then we're going to start reviewing starting uh, tomorrow and Wednesday just a little bit. Quadratic formula. This is our final way of factoring. In this chapter we've had multiple ways of factoring. We have had distributive property factoring. We have had um, reverse FOIL method of factoring. We have had difference of squares. We've had difference of squares of binomials. We've had perfect square trinomials. We've had graphing. Okay, and this is our last effort. And so we can take the problems that couldn't be factored any other way, and we can factor them using the quadratic formula. Okay, now here is the quadratic formula. Quadratic formula is x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Hope everybody got that. Hope you wrote that down real quick. If you didn't, here it goes again. x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Did you get that, that time? Um, I'm just playing around right now. I actually have a great song for you to learn the quadratic formula. So let me put it up on the board. Go a little slower as I, as I write it down. And it looks something like this. x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now, what I'm going to have you do on today's work and what you have to do tomorrow is I'm going to have you write the quadratic formula every single problem. And you'll notice we have A's, B's, and C's. Remember that from last uh, one of the last sections last week, I had this. Okay, that's where we're going to get our A's, B's, and C's. A is the number in front of the X squared. B is the number in front, oh, that should be an X, excuse me. Uh, B is the number that's going to be in front of the X, and C is going to be the number that stands alone. Okay, so let's take a look at it. Um, the song is Pop Goes the Weasel. And so the quadratic formula to Pop Goes the Weasel sounds something like this. And please don't be critical of my singing. I'm doing this for your benefit. Just remember that. All right, here we go. X equals negative B plus or minus square root B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. That is a little, you know, a little song that's going to be in your brain forever. You will use it in algebra two. You will use it in geometry. Um, let me go through it again. Again, it goes to pop goes the weasel. <clears throat> X equals negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus four ac all over two a. Okay. So what I want you to do is memorize the little jingle. It'll help you on the test. If you get in doubt on any of your problems on how to factor them, you can always use the quadratic formula. So let's use it. Let's find out how it works. If I have the equation x squared minus 12x equals, and what did I want this to equal? Negative 20. What do you notice right away? Okay. I notice right away that the negative 20 is on the wrong side. So how am I going to move the negative 20 to the other side? I'm going to add 20 to both sides. Remember that I can only combine like terms, so those aren't like terms. So my actual equation is x squared minus 12x plus 20. Now, being that I'm the math teacher, I can look at this and I can tell you that I could factor this. And I could get x squared minus 12x plus 20. And then I could tee that up. And my factors would be 10 and 2. OK? Now, if that were unfactorable, Obviously, I'd use the quadratic formula. So off to the right, I'm going to use the quadratic formula and show you 
that we will come out with the exact same answer. So here we go. First, we need to write down the quadratic formula. x equals negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now, from our equation over here, let's identify our a, b, and c. Our a is the number in front of the x squared, which is going to be 1. Our b is the number in front of the x, which is going to be negative 12. And our c is the number that stands alone, which is going to be 20. So now I take those three terms and I sub them in. Okay? So x equals negative b. So I want to put a negative sign and then represent my b. Again, I'm going to write every step. Some of you will skip a few steps. I ask you not to at this point um, until we get a little bit better at it. And so the next one's b squared. So that's going to be negative 12 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 20, all over 2 times a, which is 2 times 1. So I'm going to scroll down here just a little bit. Give me a little bit of room to work. Now let's simplify it. I get negative and negative 12, which is 12, plus or minus 12 squared, or negative 12 squared is 144. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. Negative 4 times 20 is negative 80. All over 2 times 1, which is 2. Now, should be able to clean it up here and get some factors. We've got 12 plus or minus 144 minus 80 is going to give me 64 all over 2. Now, I still have to clean everything up. Sorry about that. We know the square root of 64 is 8. So now we've got x equals 12 plus or minus 8 all over 2. Okay. Now that 2 can divide into everything up on the top. So it's going to be x equals 6 plus or minus 4. So that's two equations, and I'm going to move them over here. I've got x equals 6 plus 4, and I have x equals 6 minus 4. 6 plus 4 is 10, and 6 minus 4 is 2. Guess what? Same factors, okay, 10 and 2. All right quadratic formula, x equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Finding out what a, b, and c are, substituting them in, and getting our factors at the end. Okay, let's take another one. Uh, I've picked one that won't come out even at the end. Whoop, hold on just a moment. Okay, I'm back. So again, I'm going to get one that doesn't come out even because we're going to do some rounding on some of these. Uh, you know that when we factored before, there were some that didn't come out, but they could come out by making them decimals, but we couldn't factor decimals before. Using the quadratic formula, we can. So, again, off to the right or above, whatever you want to do, write in the formula. x equals negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now, you can walk down the hall and tell people this. You can tell your parents, you know, you just recite this as much as you can in the next couple of days so you learn it. You know, you can walk up to anybody on the street and hey, say, hey, guess what? I know the quadratic formula. X equals negative B plus or minus squared to B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. Isn't that cool? All right, thanks. Bye. Okay, you can have some fun with it. So they'll think you're crazy, but just tell them your math teacher is crazy, and that's all right. So let's look at this. Let's identify A, B, and C. A is going to be 3. B is going to be negative 2, and C is going to be negative 9. 
So I'm going to start plugging in. I've got x equals negative rb plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c. Extend that just a little bit. All over 2 times 3. Okay, and on this section, just as warned over the weekend, it will be good to have a calculator. It'll save you a lot of time. So let's start cleaning it up a little bit. We have a negative, a minus 2, or a negative, a negative 2. That's going to be 2 plus or minus square root. Negative 2 squared is 4. Negative 4 times 3 is 12 excuse me, is negative 12. Let me say that again, just clarify. Negative 4 times 3 is negative 12. Negative 12 times negative 9 is positive 108. All over 6. So I'm going to take a step to the right here, just so I can save a little space on the board. That's going to be 2 plus or minus square root. 4 plus 108 is going to be 112 all over 6. Now, at this point, some people will start looking at that and go, hey, well, I can, I can divide 2 into all of those things, and I can clean that up just a little bit. But I can't divide by 2 until I've got rid of the square root, Okay, which in this case I can't do. It's not a perfect square. So I'm going to get on my calculator, and I'm going to put in the square root of 112. And that comes out to be 10.583. I'm going to ask you to take it all the way out, three spaces, okay, so now I have, now I need to set up my two equations, Oop, extend my page, get it back, okay, so I have to plus 10.583 divided by 6 and I also I didn't want to get, I want to get that out of the way sorry and then I have 2 minus 10.583 all right and so let me clear my calculator here. 2 plus, and you can be working on these at home. And, and then I'm going to divide that by 6. Now they're going to ask you to round to the nearest tenth. This comes out to be 2.09, which is going to round to 2.1 to the nearest tenth. And then down below I'm going to have 2 minus... 10.583 and that's going to be negative 1.43 which is going to round to negative 1.4 okay so that shows you one that doesn't come out to be perfectly even but shows you that we can use the quadratic formula for it all right Kind of long, about 14 minutes on this one, but uh, hopefully there's a lot of information there and uh, you'll be ready to go. So we'll see you in the morning.